All right, Molly, I'm answering your question. It says two balls are dropped at the same time. Uh, I'm going to go a little fast because I guess I have to answer quickly on this one. One window is 40 feet high and the other is 80 feet high. What is the height of the ball when the other hits the ground? Well, what I'm going to show you is uh, based on our kinematics, we know that we need to solve for time. Now, there are two balls. Uh, here we have ball one at 80. So I'm going to just go B, B1 equals 80. Oh, geez. B2 equals 40. Okay. All right. So uh, by doing this, we know that time is just the height divided by 4.9 square root. Now, if you're wondering where I got that from, um, you could definitely send me a message. Um, it comes from our kinematics. Uh, you derive it and you do some special math and you'll end up getting... Uh, dy, okay, over 4.9. Again, you're going to have to ask me or send me a message, and I gladly can answer that anytime. Okay, so dy over 4.9. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve the time for ball two. The reason why is because this is the one that's going to hit the ground first, and we're trying to figure out the height of ball one, right? So, but ball two, what we do is we just go 40 divided by 4.9, square root and our time comes out to and this is what i got i got 2.85 seconds now of course that's not our final answer but now with this we can put it into our original kinematics which is d equals v naught or you could say vi it doesn't matter v naught uh t uh, times or plus, I'm sorry, plus one half. Okay, and we're going to call this g t squared. Okay, now v naught is zero. Why? Because once again, you're beginning the zero. So one half g t. Okay, and by plugging in again this time into this one right here. Okay, we have our height difference or our height change at about 39. Point eight four feet. Now, that is not our final answer. What we're saying here is that in 2.85 seconds, okay, there was a change of about 39.84 feet off of this ball. So what we're going to do here is we're going to subtract this. Well, actually, technically, because it's a negative gravity, we know that this is negative. So we could say negative 39.84 plus 80 feet, okay? And our total answer comes out to a total of 40.016 feet. There you go, okay? See if that, uh, that worked for you. Thank you.